Hey guys, I uh, came out to the boat today to uh, share a little tip with you. I got an email the other day and someone suggested to me that I make a couple of videos on just some real basic, simple stuff. Um, so often in fishing videos that we see, especially saltwater stuff that you may not be that familiar with, um, people don't go over the simple things. They just jump to all this cool fishing they're doing and gear and all this stuff and they don't really tell you the little things you need to know if you're not familiar with this kind of stuff. So I just want to take just a minute today and show you a quick tip that I think will help you if you're going on a charter boat or you're, if you're going fishing with friends uh, somewhere on the ocean. We'll talk a little bit about reels today. The reel I'm going to be talking to you about today and how to use it is called a conventional reel. It looks like this. You'll see this style of reel on just about any offshore boat that you go on, charter boats, whatnot. And they'll be different brands and, and different types, but they all work basically the same way. This reel right here is what you'll probably see a lot of. If you'll notice, it doesn't have a line guide right here. If you look at this reel, same style of reel basically, but it does have a line guide. You can see it right there. Hopefully you can see that line guide I'm, I'm pointing to. This goes back and forth and guides the line evenly onto the spool. But these are fairly uncommon for off offshore rigs because a lot of times you need knots to go through here with leaders and things like that. So you don't want a line guide on a reel like this. So a lot of times you'll, uh, you'll not see the level lines. This is called a level line. You won't see these that much on offshore boats. I carry a couple because they're really easy to use, especially for beginners. But nine times out of 10, this is the type reel that you're gonna see on a boat. And this is a conventional reel. It does not have a line guide. So you manually have to guide the line onto the spool when you're reeling in the line. The other thing that sets this apart from the other reel is this is called a lever drag. And you can see on the side right there, it's got this lever. That sets the tension on the drag, of how hard the fish can pull before the line starts peeling out like this. So the further up this lever is, the harder it is to pull, the further back it is, the easier the line comes out. Now here's the real key that I wanted to share with you, and this is probably something that all charter boat captains would thank me for doing and explaining. One of the most important things I can tell you about this type reel is when you use this reel, keep your thumb on the spool until you have the line out where you want it. That is key. Your thumb is the brakes for the spool if you're letting line out. So if I back the lever all the way off like that, now my spool can free spool. This is when you're dropping the line down over the side or back behind the boat trolling. And this will spin really, really fast and really, really easy. If you take your thumb off and it spins, the spool will overrun how fast the line's going out and you'll get something called backlash. Uh, guys, you don't want that at all. So a key is keep your thumb. Now this is when you're letting line out. Keep your thumb on the spool at all times. And I mean at all times, as long as you're not actively fishing. When you're letting line out, your thumb goes right there on the spool and acts as a brake to slow the this, this spool down. Uh, there's nothing worse, guys, than to forget that get on a boat, grab a rod like this, and just flip that lever down to let your bait down. The next thing you know, you've backlashed a giant, you know, 300, 400, 500 yard spool of line like this. You know, on monofilament, that could be 40 or $50 worth of line. You're, you're not gonna get that backlash out most of the time. It creates a huge mess. So tip number one, probably one of the most important things if you're a complete novice, if you hold a reel like this in your hand, your thumb goes there. When you let the line out, you're tapering it and breaking it with your thumb as it goes out. Now you want to be careful with that and not put too much pressure on it, guys, because if you've got real heavy weight, it can go down really fast. Or if a fish strikes while you're letting a bait back for trolling, it can burn your thumb pretty good. So just light pressure will do it, but just enough pressure to make sure that you don't let the spool overrun. Another important point is when the line is out, and this is a lot easier to do when you actually have tension on the line. When you're reeling, you want to take your thumb or your index finger, you're holding the rod up here and the line will be pulled out like that. 
and you're going to be guiding the line onto the spool back and forth. So as you reel, you want to push over like this and push over like this as the line goes back and forth across the spool. That way the line doesn't hump up in the middle and hit this bar coming across the top. If you just reel it and you don't pay any attention to that, you'll get a big glob line on this side of the spool or that side of the spool. And then the, you know, the spool will be lopsided, the line will hit the brace on the top up here. You don't want that. All right, so two things to remember on using a conventional reel. Most important thing, use your thumb for braking. Anytime you touch the reel and you're letting out line, keep your thumb on the spool and you control the braking on the line with your thumb. Anytime you're reeling in a conventional reel that does not have a line guide on it, you can look and see, you'll see it right away. If it doesn't have it, like you can see clearly, this one doesn't. When you're reeling in line and you've got pressure on the line, you're just gonna use your thumb and just go side to side slowly as you're reeling to keep the line balance level on your spool. If you have a reel like this one, This is a level line reel. It works basically the same way. We still want to keep our thumb on the spool, but instead of it having a lever drag, it has a star drag right here on the side. This is the drag. This is what puts tension on the line right here, this star, instead of that lever that goes back and forth. The lever is easier to use and generally puts a little bit more drag on it than the star drag will, but it works basically the same. It's especially important with a level line if you're using one of these and it just has this flip switch right there. You flip it down and it lets that line out. See now that can free spool like that. Because I don't have a lever drag, I can't put any tension on this line. This thing's going to free spool the whole time until I switch this, this lever back. So it's super important if you're using a lever drag reel to keep your thumb on the spool and let it do the braking for you because this is in free spool the whole time until you set that forward. On the other reel we were using, if I were letting out line, let's say I'm letting out, you know, a hundred yards behind the boat, I could use my lever to just put a little tension on the spool and it'll let line back and I can adjust it real light. It'll let it back and I can take a little pressure off with my thumb. See, it's, it's holding pressure now. If I go all the way back, it's in free spool and I have to use my thumb. So going all the way back on this one is just like throwing this lever back all the way on this one, except there's no in between. It's either locked in or off like that. So on a lever drag reel with just a switch like this on it, you want to make sure you're using your thumb here. You'll backlash from this one in a hurry. Cool thing about a level line, it's easy for beginners because watch this line guide across the front when I reel. See how it goes side to side? It'll keep that line perfectly level on the spool so you don't have to do that. This is a real easy reel for beginners to use except for this trick. If you don't keep that thumb on the line, a new person using this reel will backlash it just about every time. So. Biggest point I can make to you guys, if you're going with somebody using their equipment, charter boat, friend or whatever, take a minute, maybe review this video. If you're unfamiliar with this stuff, go back and look at what I told you the difference were before you go on your trip. And then when you go on your trip and they have the rods on the boat, take a look real quick. See if you're using a level line, see if it has a lever drag on it, like this one. Kind of get familiar with what the gear is that you're using and you get on the boat, you'll feel more comfortable using the people's equipment. And of course, any good captain or anybody friend that you're going with fishing, I'm sure is gonna explain this stuff to you anyway. That's just a quick tip to keep you look, from looking like a complete rookie when you get on the boat. And I hope it'll help you out. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this quick tip. Uh, I'm gonna try to do more little simple tips like that. You guys that are experienced fishermen, I know probably won't find any of this kind of stuff very interesting. But I know when I very first started saltwater fishing, there were so many little things to learn and you just have to ask the question. So I hope this helps you out. Thanks for watching our videos. Make sure you like and subscribe our videos and come back and watch another video on Gables on the Go. See you next time.